it's so funny. Chris Harrison every season is like, it's a finale. Like, you wouldn't believe. And I feel like each season, it's true. Like, it keeps getting crazier and crazier every single season. And I love it. Like, they're breaking down sort of like the third wall in TV, right? They're like letting us into the behind the scenes. You know, it's not like this picture perfect, you know, road to romance. And we're seeing that very clearly with Peter. Peter's lifestyle? Yeah. I don't know if you're aware of it, but he socializes, he parties. It seems like you two have a little bit, mm -hmm. actually not a little bit, quite a bit yeah. different lifestyles. Absolutely. And I don't want anyone to change him. I feel so bad for Barbara. Like, I get that she handled it poorly. You know, she she let her own emotions get in the way of things, her own opinions, where she should let Peter make that decision for herself. But as a mom myself, like, I get why she's so emotional, why she's so distraught. Like, Peter and Madison are so different. They're just so different. And in my opinion, people who are that different in terms of faith have a very hard time making a relationship work. Can you make a relationship work when you have two different opinions on faith? Yes, I think you can, but it's, it's, it's possible, but it's not probable. So I think Peter's mom saw that and she was like, this isn't gonna work. You have this perfect girl, what are you doing? But instead of pushing her opinions on him, she should have sat back and asked questions and said, oh, well, how will you guys handle this? What will you do about this? And let him make up his mind for himself because at the end of the day, it's his relationship, not Barb's. But I feel bad for Barb. Like, if I were Peter, I would be so upset right now because people are, like, hating on his mom on the internet. And, like, if that was my mom, I would be so distraught. So, like, poor Bar Barb. She's obviously emotional. Like, let's just all, like, cut her a break. Anna, Anne loves you with all of her heart. Don't let her go. Who thought Peter's mom was talking about Hannah Ann? Nobody. Like, no one. I saw so many, like, funny memes and tweets last night. Like, people are just floored because we can't believe it. Everybody thought it was Madison. I was so sure it was Madison, especially because Madison went on that first one-on-one -on -one date and his family knew her, so I thought that like, his mom would have a real special bond and connection to her. But, man, Hannah Ann, that was, like, not my first choice or even close to that. You gotta stop doing this. I'm, I'm, you gotta I'm stop crying. doing this. I'm crying. No, but you gotta stop doing this right now. You got okay, you don't know okay. how bad this is. I'm so you gotta I'm stop smiling. doing this. I can't stop no, crying. but you gotta stop. Like it's literally destroying me right now. It pushed me so you have no idea. I'm really happy that Peter like stood up for himself and he said, Mom, like this is not okay. It's not okay what you're doing. And I feel like that's almost the first time we've really seen Peter really put his foot down all season. Like to the women, he's always been like, well, I'll talk to you and I'll talk to you and I'll hear what you have to say. And the first woman he says no to is his own mother, which is great. I'm really, really glad that he finally did that, finally stuck up for himself. But um, yeah, you know, I think his mom just, she's an emotional person, you know, and I think we see that in Peter. He's, he wears his heart on his sleeve and so does she. Um, but you know, I think what, looking back, I'm sure she'll wish that she handled things differently. It's funny. We're normally like, you know, picking apart the contestants and saying, well, they're young and they're still learning. And it's like, well, Barb, like we can't say you're too young and you're still learning. Like you should know better. And she should have, but then again, it's her son and she loves him so much that she just lost her cool. I think it's totally unfair to call what Madison did with Peter an ultimatum. It's just not. She didn't say, I'm done, like do this or else, but she had to, she keeps saying, I had to say my truth. I had to say what works for me. And at the end of the day, somebody who I love sleeping with somebody else a few days before proposing to me is not okay in my book. In the real world, any, nobody would think that's weird. If anything, the opposite is weird. Like for his, for Peter's mom to go to Madison and say, how could you not let my son sleep with other women? Like, what? Like literally my heart sank when she said that. I mean, it, verbatim she didn't say that, but I'm paraphrasing. And I love that Madison, Madison stuck up for herself. She said, no, 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 wait. Like. I, it wasn't an ultimatum. I told him what I was okay with in a relationship. And at the end of the day, she's saying, look, this is what I'm okay with. This is my faith. This is what I believe in. If you're not on the same page as me, we're not compatible. And that's perfect. That's what you're supposed to do in The Bachelor. Those conversations aren't had enough and people are too like, sure, do whatever you want. Um, and I know a lot of people are gonna say, well, it's part of the show and she should have known that. Well, I think that's BS because at the end of the day, this isn't just a show, this is a real relationship. And maybe Madison didn't think she would fall in love. Nobody who goes on the show thinks they're gonna fall in love. Nobody, everybody goes on thinking it's gonna be a fun experience. And then when you fall in love, you're like, oh my gosh, I can fall in love on the show. And Madison let him know what was important to her in a loving relationship. And I'm with her. I say go girl, stick up for yourself. And I, th I hope more, more people do that in future seasons. When you're on the show, you are in a bubble. Like 
I remember thinking I was so in love with The Bachelor when I was a contestant. I was so like, oh my gosh, he's great and he's so wonderful. The set, and I sent myself home, and this, like Madison did, um, because my job basically said, come back or you have no job. And I left the show, and I remember within a day or two of being home, I was like, boom, boom, slap, my, felt, like, slap myself across the face. What were you thinking, Allie? That wasn't love. And so I think what Madison is saying in her mind is like, whoa, is this real? Like, can this really work outside of this? I don't know. And there's been so many issues. Like, I need to walk away from this and, like, step outside of the bubble and the fairy tale and see how I really feel. Obviously, when she did step outside of the bubble, she realized very quickly that, oh, my gosh, I really do have strong feelings for him, and I think we can make it work, and tells Chris Harrison she wants to come back and make things right. And I think that's great. I think it's a good thing that she, she removed herself from the Bachelor bubble to really get down to what she was feeling and what she thinks they can make work long, long, long term. For three months now, Maddie and all the girls leading up to this point have been told, oh my gosh, Peter, he's like almighty King Peter. I mean, really, that's what like the producers sort of make it feel like, and not in a negative way. I shouldn't say like, oh, King Peter, but like in a way of like, wow, isn't Peter so great? And you're talking about him 24 seven. You're doing interviews about him all day, every day. You talk to other girls about him, like your life revolves around Peter. So I'm sure that Madison is like, whoa, I need to step out of this and, and remove myself from this Peter infatuation, like love fest bubble and see if I really have feelings. And I think she did that, realize she does really have true feelings and wants to work hard to make it work because relationships are work um, and wants to give it a chance at the end at the end of the day I don't think that she if if Peter and Madison end up together I guarantee we'll we'll see them on the live show tonight saying we'll see what happens I don't think they're gonna be engaged I think he will be with Madison not Hannah Ann but who like I feel like we're all gonna get thrown a curveball and he's gonna be engaged to Hannah Ann but like my gut is saying he's going to be um, in a relationship with Madison they're gonna see like how it how it will be in if they want to get engaged like in the future um, and they'll give it a go is it likely that they'll work it out I don't think so honestly I just don't I, I, I think Madison's lovely I adore Peter I've met him um, but they're just so so different and they have to be one in a million to make this work and I, I hope they are that one in a million but who knows I am so happy the season is unspoiled like every single season I try to avoid spoilers and then like my fans end up tweeting them to me or something I don't want to say fans that sounds like I'm like my fans are cool my followers um, every season I try to avoid spoilers and then like my followers end up tweeting them to me or something or telling me on my blog so I'm so excited that this season is unspoiled it's fun to be surprised like aren't we all excited to be surprised again um, so I mean who knows who knows what's gonna I I feel like it could go either way. He could be engaged to Hannah Ann, or he could be in a relationship with Madison. I don't know, or, ne or neither. Like, I heard he was supposed to do a TV appearance tomorrow morning that he canceled. So, would you cancel if you weren't, like, happy in a relationship? I don't know. I don't think I would. I'd cancel if I was not in a relationship and not wanting to answer questions. So, I don't know.